Thank you, Mark. Our Music Monday guest mixes indie folk with an alternative style to create songs fans say they can relate to. Sufi and the Walrus joins us this morning, and this is early for them. You guys have never performed, you say, this early ever? Never. Yeah, we're never really awake this early. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I've heard you in the rehearsals. Your voices sound super strong for this time of morning, so good job. Thank you. This is Chris Morades, and this is Ryan Howell, both uh, members of the band. And you have one of your fans, Corey Crawford, to thank for recommending yeah. you to us. What is it about your music that uh, allows fans like Corey to connect? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's just uh, w lyrically, I think we always try to write about the truth. And we don't really like, um, we don't try to sugarcoat anything. Um, so when we talk about life and love and people, uh, it's, it, we usually just try to go right to the honest answer. And, uh, and I think people can relate to that because they know exactly where we're coming from. We're not, we're not talking about an experience that we've never, that no one has ever felt before. So I think just that um, relationship is just made through them relating to uh, what we think and how we feel. Mm -hmm. so. How did you two come together as a group? Um, He's lived down the street from me. Yeah. Life, so. uh -huh. yeah. So we started as friends first. Yeah. Okay. So, and then uh, we just... About two we, years ago, you formalized it yeah, as, yeah, the, yeah. as a band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it was weird. Like, we always, he always played piano and bass, and I always played guitar, and I was writing songs in high school. And um, I don't know, just one day, we're just like, we should just start working together. Just mm -hmm. let it click. So. All right. And it's done well for you. You got an album out. Um, where can people find your music and see your performance schedule? Um, Facebook and our website, yeah. Okay. Um, we have an album out on iTunes actually right now for sale. I think it's like eight dollars for eight songs, all original songs. Okay. Um, and then uh, for shows, yeah, Facebook we're we're always on, and uh, our website is SufiNavarro.com. All right. And one of those songs from the album, are you performing this morning? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which song will that be? This will be a song called "Till the Morning Comes." All right. So. All right. Thank you. Take thank it away. You. Thank you. Ready? Way. With eight simple words I've been longing to say That I will hold you Until the morning comes Love will take you by 
surprise, surprise. So open up your eyes and let it into your life. Your love will take you by surprise. So open up your eyes and let it into your life. Thank you, Rick. Our Music Monday guest today is back to perform another song. Sufi and the Walrus is here. Guys, good morning. Chris Morades and Ryan Howe. That is an unusual name for a band. How did you come up with it? Um, it's a combination of two, two big artists that we really like, musical artists that is, one being Sufjan Stevens. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we actually just came up with a nickname for him. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if anyone really calls him Sufi. I think. We just kind of just thought of it like every time we would listen to him, be like, you know, you hear the new Sufi song or um, Sufi's new album or whatever. So we, we kind of just made that nickname up. And then the Walrus is from the Beatles song, I Am the Walrus. Okay. So it's kind of when we sat down to write music, um, we both just said, let's try to make music that's Sufi on Stevens and the Beatles together. Okay. Your, your debut album is doing well. Any plans for another? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're actually heading down to North Carolina in April to go record with a producer named Doug Williams, who worked with the Ava Brothers when they first started out. And I think we're gonna come out with an EP, about three to five songs. Okay. So, yeah. Where can people find out your performance schedule or um, just more about you? Or uh, your music is what I should say. Um, Facebook, uh, like the internet, we're really all over the internet right now. Um, and that's usually, um, we're actually surprised when we find out how much stuff is about us with shows and everything on, uh, <laughs> on the internet. So it's, it, that's really Facebook and Twitter and, um, and yeah, the website. Okay, which is SufiandTheWalrus.com. Yeah. All spelled out. Yeah, all spelled out. All right, and what song are you performing this time? Tell us what's, what, how did it come um, out? This song is going to be called Break My Soul, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I started, I started writing this song, it was actually on his birthday, and uh, it was when we just moved out here, so we had like, we didn't really know anyone, and we just, um, we kind of just hung out in the basement, <laughs> and just, uh, it, it really, it was, it was not much going on. Okay. So, um, so that, that uh, event really just inspired some lyrics on this song. So, uh, and then he added a verse to it. And it, it's just, it's one of my favorite songs I think we wrote because it, it goes right to the truth um, on how we think and feel. So. Okay. Well, take it away, guys. All right, thank you. One, two.
And I was born Had no plans, nowhere to go And we As we uh, say goodbye, we're going to let you hear one last snippet from Sufi and the Walrus, our Music Monday guest. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody. Secrets that we keep away now that